going on everyone, see Michelle Boy here and welcome back to another video. Alright, before we get into today's topic, I got a couple things to talk about real quick. First of all, new background. It's literally just the exact same wall, just the camera is moved over and up. And we have this nice symmetrical background. Technically it's not symmetrical because all the pieces are different, but you get my point. Also, I ordered a new hat on Amazon, so you guys, soon TM, will not see this discoloration disgrace of a hat. Also, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm standing up, which means my video is going to be so much more energetic than it usually is me sitting down in that black leather chair. So without further ado, let's get into it. I wanted to hold off on this topic for a little bit just because nothing was really developed about it yet, but today, we got development and we're gonna get right into it. We are talking about Red's smartphone called the Hydrogen One. If you guys don't know, Red is a company that makes camera gear. Really nice, expensive camera gear. They are also really known for their ways of modification when it comes to their equipment. So since they're only known for camera gear, it's kind of weird that they're coming out with a smartphone. And today, we have the official first look at the Hydrogen One. If you guys missed my last video, which you guys should go check out, I mentioned that I wanted my style of videos to be like Marcus Brownlee. Well, he got permission and tech gear by Red to have the first ever world premiere of the Hydrogen One. GG Marcus, you're doing so good. And then Business Insider decided to take his YouTube video and make it a nice little article for me to, you know, outline with for this video. So let's get into it. All right, so the Hydrogen One, we gotta get through the basics here because this is the first time I'm ever talking about it. The Hydrogen One is a smartphone being made by Red, a camera company. You may be asking yourself, why does a camera company make a smartphone, Colton? Well, I'll tell you, they simply wanna get in the smartphone game. It's that simple. You know, we got Apple, we got Samsung, we got Motorola, which is probably going to be Red's number one competition. Like I said earlier in this video, Red really likes modification when it comes to their cameras. So, you have guessed it, they really want modification to be a big feature with their Hydrogen One. The picture you are seeing right now shows that there are sensors at the bottom center of the smartphone, giving you guys the connection for all the accessibility when it comes to the modifications. One of the other big things about this phone is that Red said there's going to be a 3D-like effect when it comes to the user interface of the phone. Now, I'm pretty sure this is going to run basic stock Android, and I'm pretty sure they're just gonna maybe put their twist on like how the icons look. They're gonna make everything look 3D. Pretty sure there's even gonna be maybe some motion backgrounds, cause that would only make sense with a 3D interface. So let's get into the actual frame of the phone a little bit more. It's actually a really big phone. Uh, uh, Marcus did a comparison to an iPhone in his video, so I'm throwing that up right on the screen right now. Also, there's finger grips on the side of the phone. And I find this really interesting because with Red being a camera company, they're gonna make sure you get your awesome, crisp, stable shots when it comes to this phone, especially because this is technically supposed to be a mobile phone that can transform into an actual camera. Red also says that the base version of the phone will be aluminum and uh, a pricier model will be made out of titanium. That's awesome. Also around the rugged end, we have buttons that are everywhere. There's even a recording button for the phone, which is quite interesting. So I wonder if you press that button, probably the camera app will open up instantly and then you'll probably have to press it again to get your actual shot or to start recording. So probably some dual button pressing there to get the shot you are trying to get. And one thing that is awesome is that there's a headphone jack. That is awesome. There's also USB-C quite common in Android devices. It was said in Marcus's video that uh, Red is thinking about moving the headphone jack to the top of the phone. We don't really care where the headphone jack is, as long as it's not conflicting button usage and, you know, buying dongles. <laughs> Apple! The other thing I've noticed about the model is that it's kind of squared off. It's not really curved on the corners 
like an iPhone or a Samsung per se, a Galaxy. And I think that's gonna kind of turn a lot of people off unless they're kind of like a really rustic, like really get into your content type of person, you know? But the only people that are probably gonna be purchasing this is fans of Red and like photographers and content creators most likely. And right on the screen right now, we have a picture of one of the add-ons thanks to Marcus Brownlee's video. This looks absolutely amazing. It's an actual adjustable lens for your freaking phone. Like, are you serious? I cannot wait to see YouTubers make videos and pictures and content with this phone. I know Marcus is gonna be doing something with this phone and I cannot wait until that comes out on his channel. Now, when I say Motorola is going to be Red's competition when it comes to modularity and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure Red is like the more expensive version of Motorola, if that makes sense, because Red is all about quality here. And just with these basic screenshots from Marcus's video, you can just tell that there is a ton of quality poured into this first ever smartphone they have ever created. And I must say, I'm very excited to see what's to come. And for all of you who are wondering, the smartphone is expected to start at $1,200. You can even pre-order this phone right now on Red's website. The only thing up in the air is the user interface of this phone. I'm very excited to see the user interface. The user interface might even be a total, total game changer because they want this whole 3D thing. Not only were they pushing the whole modularity aspect, but they were also really pushing their whole 3D user interface. So I'm really interested to see what that looks like. And according to Marcus's video, I think he said maybe in the next month or two that they will have a software and hardware prototype in one. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I personally think this phone is going to be absolutely great. I do have kind of high hopes for red and the user interface just because of what I've seen already but at the same time they don't really do software stuff they really only do hardware stuff so that's where I'm kind of taking a step back right now but nonetheless an amazing product so far Marcus raves about it and I'm already raving about it, and I haven't even seen the inside of the phone yet. By inside, I mean software. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure you slap a like if you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you guys think about Red's Hydrogen One smartphone. I'm decently hyped about it. I'm really excited to see their software interface. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you guys haven't already. And uh, yeah. My name is CM Showboy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace. Adios.